born into a house, an Irish-speaking house, that was rich in everything that we're celebrating here tonight. <laughs> um, Travelled all over the world with Kyoto's Kyoto Air, singing and performing with him. And, of course, when you mentioned the name of Sean O'Shea, two things would spring to mind, singer and Unpucker Brilliant, because Unpucker Brilliant was, as it's say now, his hit record. But he's also, as far as I'm concerned, he's equally as talented as a storyteller, or a raconteur, as they, some people would call it. So would you please put your hands together? We're delighted to have you here. Sean O'Shea. Good morning, John. I was, I was figuring today that I think a poker put it was recorded 62 years ago, and I'm still looking for a follow-up. <laughs> anyway, Donna has a moment, Sean Lockby, and Anna has a moment, and we have three, a goalie, and a scumorvor, er, or a talk to Kasula, Maraha, a bingin' up. Um, regarding the previous three leaders, I was very, very interested in that, and if I could add a footnote to what you said. Some years ago, I was in Dublin with Pedro Rieda, and we both got into the headquarters of Bielidis, I forget the name of the man who uh, brought us in there, and he was looking at the originals that went up from the school in Kule, and I was looking at the originals that went up from the school in Kumhola. They were inside the cellophane coveries, but you saw the originals there. And from Kumhola, there was a beautiful story written by the student itself, and my father, who was teaching there at the time, had to certify that it was an original that wasn't corrected. And uh, this was a story that this man had learned from his father. It was an absolutely beautiful, impeccable Irish page for an The handwriting was absolutely beautiful. And the writing was a Dunaka O'Coyhli from Snav, who would be Dennis Coakley, who learned the story from his father. And Dennis Coakley's son would be John Coakley, who is a very good friend of mine and is one of the best musicians in this country at the present time. So I thought that would be. Interesting. Nish uh, about Kumhola, I just want to, from the musical point of view, I suppose two of the best traditional singers ever in this country came from the immediate district. Uh, when I was going to school in Kumhola, my father and mother were teaching in the boys' school, and in the girls' school, you had Eddie Bracken's mother, Katie Bracken, and the principal was a Mrs. Cuhan, but she was better known as Marcella Hurley or by her Irish name, Marshall Neuvillele, and she had the kind of non plume of a small day in the moon, the song thrush of monster. And she was probably the finest traditional singer of her day. And in 1947, Seamus Ennis came around these parts and he recorded her. And I'm very fortunate to have the record. She was a really wonderful singer. And then in 1946 or that way, there was a girl who, you, she was known as Mary Jack Bill, her father John owned the Ovan at the time, and she won Arachtas Nebelga, which is the highest award you can get for Irish traditional singing. And in 1946, she represented Ireland at an international festival of folk music in Vienna. And before she boss, she died a couple of years ago. There were a very musical family, her brothers, Paddy and Morty, were members of the Regal Show Band August Tasha Galeer or Sheena Fear and Inish August Banach de Lobo. I'm going to sing a song in Irish for you. Um, the kind of a song this is, it's The Woman Is Inside in the Ale House. And you know the fellow who goes in for one pint and he's there at four o'clock in the morning and she's trying to get him out that the day is dawning. But he tells her, it is only the light of the moon. And then in verse 4, all the signs of dawn are there, and it's beautiful, the words are lovely. Tonabon and Samuela, the cattle are in the, um, the farmyard, there's a better word than that for it. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Tonabon and Samuela, Tonagona e Golan Vanya. The cows are drinking the milk. Tana quickly go on the The cats are drinking the cream. And he said, "It's minute dose of the And it's time for me to go home." So, 
Sean uh, O'Reilly has always said that we should never be singing Old Lang Syne to finish a night as we had a song to get through. So, I'll have a word. <coughs> From whom the bond and Eleanor is made tough, don't spore the vine. The force is dark, the dark and old, you ain't all and shin come right in. This is a very easy course you'll pick it up after the first time. Neil the law, a vile Neil Shane along the well there might in Neil the Lord be a bro So the sword of the passing alley I get he a irritate It's not a groom er the father Ach, well, so a stoss a lawn and oil, be me the gold on shot er hada, neil na la, a vina cra, neil she na la, na well er maiden, neil na la, a vina cra, ach, so a sor. Be it he a vanity, is poor so stole so all gone my in. Land me flesh and pure good do, baby and shag a good no mania. Neil the law, a feel of raw, Neil the law. Ma bell er maiden, neil na la a fine gro, so the sor the tossing alley, ta na ba in samuela, ta na ga na yol on fire, ta na que. Sean told me once about, uh, as you know, we mentioned about Pucker Brilliant, and Sean is affectionately known as on Pucker. And somebody sent Sean a text message one day, which what he intended was, hello Pucker, but he was using predictive texting. <laughs> so you know what it ended up like. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much, Sean.